uh, so yeah, it's just a board game. She's gonna ask us a bunch of questions. We're gonna run through. We're gonna do our thing. Um, like I said, if you get it wrong, we take a hit. If we get it right, that square gets cleared, then we can run over it freely and move on to the next area. See the picture on my screen? Do you know where you have been? Uh, that is the that's Mumbo's Mountain. So that first question she asked us was about the. You guys remember the matching game? Um, back in Gobi's Valley. It was which, like, what character's face didn't show up, and it was Jinjo, Mumbo, and, and Grunty. And I definitely remember Jinjo and Mumbo showing up, but Grunty never showed up. The energy that you have found won't stop me making 2D round. <laughs> the rhymes never stop. I love it. They've a tower in which they hide on Mumbo's mountain. What's inside? I think that'd be Ticker the Termite, or Fatty the Bat, or Bongo the Bee. No, it's Ticker the Termite. That's Termite Tower. The music note one. Question on the sounds I play. Get it wrong to make my day. When this piece of music is heard, which moves done by your stupid bird? That's the running shoes. I love this game. Wonder Wing. Wonder Turbo Wing Trot. Turbo Talon Trot, I believe. Alright. Alright, this is a Joker question. This Joker question is very important. Just one chance to get this right. Win a Joker and help it might. Alright, the Joker questions are super, super important. You guys will see why. See the picture on my screen? Do you know where you have been? Mumbo's Mountain again. Same spot. Different angle. Foot clock wood, Mumbo's Mountain, bubble glue. Okay, so these Joker questions are important because each Joker card that you have got will skip one question. That's your lot. Press X to use it, you little cheat. When on a square, you get cold feet. So basically, I can use this to skip a square that I don't want to answer. Comes in really handy. I think it's time, so let me see. How much do you know of little old me? So these are the hardest questions. You have to know about Grunty. I really hate forced rhyme. I think they do it with like a... Because you gotta remember, they're British or whatever. So they have a British accent. So the ones that don't rhyme for us might actually just rhyme naturally for them. So this is why we've been talking to Bruntilda. Because she's gonna ask us a question about herself. And Bruntilda's the only one who's been able to give us the proper answer so far. Really wish I was thinner. What does Grunny like for dinner? Wait, we just had this one. Cockroaches and cream? Maggot pie. No, I remember that from from memory. I remember that from memory. I mean, we thought we had got that one today. That's a secret. How'd you know? Did my sister tell you that, ho? That wasn't the rhyme. Some are pseudo rhymes, though. I got you. Treasure trove sandcastle floor is missing a letter. Oh, God. This one's hard. What the fuck? X. I don't know what that one is. Fail a square and you'll feel pain. Please press A to try again. <laughs> Mumbo's Mountain. Bottles is there. Which move was learned, you stupid pair? I believe we learned the talent trot in level one. Now, normally you could burn your right trigger on these timed ones, because these timed ones take the longest. You basically redo a boss fight that you've already done. Or you might have to take on uh, Vile or something. Mr. Vile again. We're just going to have to fight this guy. Mighty big box, you must now fight, but be quick, as time is tight. So, remember the box fight that we didn't do earlier because I glitched it? Well, now we can do it properly. And I'm going to do it by cheesing it with gold feathers. This gold feather tea just makes everything easier. I might run out of them, though. Die? Die? What the hell? Alright, plenty of time left on the clock. We got that one taken care of. Uh, let's keep going this way. See the picture on my screen? Do you know you're being... That's Naughties. There's a lot of fireplaces. I think that's Naughties from Click Clock Wood, though. Not Bubble Gloop. 
It could be Mad Monster Mansion. That's kind of a trick question. It was. I, I barely saw Naughty kind of clip through her. That would have been a real toughie. Galley Fridge and Rusty Bay. What's on the shelves? Brunty's High Fat Spread. Kazooie's Eggs. It's on the shelves in the fridge. I remember that one. You pick up items on the ground. Which one makes this silly sound? The gold feather. Gold necklace? Well, hello. I didn't know that was an option. So this square up here is why we go out of our way for the Joker cards. See this? Get this wrong for Grunty's sake. Then a lava bath you'll take. So if you get a question wrong on one of these square on one of these red square skull ones, you immediately get launched. Uh, directly into the lava. You lose instantly. Doesn't matter how much life you have left. You go into the lava, you die, you have to restart all of Furnace Funds. So I'm gonna use uh, the X button and skip over this one. Your Joker misses out a square. Accept the test. You did not dare. So that way, because that could be a question about Grunny that I didn't talk to Bruntilda about. So it'd just be a one in three random chance. Could be one of those goofy questions that I don't know the answer to. So the Joker card comes in super clutch on those things. Another Grunny question. Banjo stupid. Grunty's cool. What was my name at witch's school? Uh-oh. Hog breath, cauldron butt, jelly belly. Um, I think it was hog breath. Oh my god. I did that one off memory. Because I can't, I like, from, the Martyr gave me a list, but it's just a list of all the answers. And I have a tough time searching through it with my eyes fast enough. Because I still only have a 10 second time limit to do this. Anyways, let's make our way over here. See the picture on my screen? Yeah, it's the same question every time. That is Gobi's Valley. Listen up, make your choice. Which character has this voice? I think that's Boggy? Bozo the Seal. Oh, uh, Waza the Walrus. I think that's Boggy. I don't. It's not Waza. And Bozo the Seal doesn't exist in this game. All right. I know what I'm doing. So I'm actually gonna skip this time one. I'm gonna make a bit of an awkward play here, and it might pay off, and it might mean we have to do Furnace Fun again. Hard to tell. But I'm gonna skip the time ones because those ones take time. In Click Clock Wood, I have no doubt. In which season is there a drought? Summer had the drought there. The river wasn't there. Plus, that's the only answer that makes sense. Here's three facts on Freeze's E Peak. The one that's true is what you seek. Features five bears. Five giant ice cubes live there. There are five snowmen. Oh, fuck. Five bears counting Banjo. It might have been five bears, because it's the three kid bears, and then... I think it's five bears counting Banjo. Whatever. Planker's Cavern smells really stale. How many ways to get in the whale? Um, a gill on each side. A tooth on each side. The answer was five, so more than four was the only right answer. I usually curl up in a heap. Where does Grunty like to sleep? Comfy dumpster. I think on a pile of treasure. I remember this one. Okay, now I'm going to try to do something interesting here. I'm going to try to glitch the game, which you guys have seen me do before. If I get the question wrong and I'm standing on the exact right spot... Something really cool will happen. If I get the question wrong and I'm not standing on the right spot, we'll have to start over Furnace Fun, and I'll have Toasty Cut, and, and then I'll do it the right way. So I'm going to try to get this question wrong to see if we can pull this off. See the picture on my screen? All right, so this is an easy one to get wrong. It all comes down to if I'm standing in the right spot. That is clearly Freeze's EP. So I have to pick not. We're getting this one wrong. That is Grunny's Lair. I did it! I did it! Okay, so, normally, 
that's supposed to kill you. It's supposed to launch you into the lava, but if you stand at exactly the spot I was standing on, it launches you, and the game thinks you're dead. The game thinks that I died, right? The game's convinced it's over, it's just waiting for my health to drain, but my health's not gonna drain. So instead, the whole board frees up, and we can skip the rest of this Furnace Fun game, and we can run straight to the end. The only problem is that we're still in a glitch, so normally, and you guys can look up an ending of somebody else's playthrough if you want to, um, normally when you get to the end, Grunny does another big spiel, um, goes through this whole thing about how, no, no, how could you win, and then Grunny retreats up to her lair, she runs up there through those steps, but she leaves you Tootie. So then Banjo, Banjo and Kazooie run over to Tootie, and they have a cold cut, we're inside of a, is this a washing machine? We have a whole cutscene with Tootie where we save Tootie, and basically it's kind of like we think we've won, right? There's actually an entire cutscene missing. I might have Toasty go find it and edit it in now that I think about it. But we get to skip all that, because we just skipped the whole bit. We just skipped an entire bit there. There's a whole credit scene that plays. If you don't, if, yeah, if you don't do it that way. There's a whole credit scene that plays, if you do it the right way. I think I'll have Toasty add it in. That's a little speedrun trick. 810 music notes. The 810 music notes is significant because there are nine levels in the game. All of them have 100 notes, which means you had to have at least entered Click Clock Wood and picked up 10 notes in order to get this far. Be a note doors. But you do have to go into every level. You don't have to go into every level to get to, uh... <clears throat> you don't have to go into every level to get to Furnace Fun, but you do have to go into every level to chase Grunty up here. It's not over, stupid bear. See my picture over there? To fill it up is no mean feat. Lots of jiggies make it complete. Luckily, I have every jiggy in the game. I'm sad to say, down there you'll stop, because I'm safe up here at the top. So, we have six jiggies left, meaning to get to the end of this game, you're allowed to miss six jiggies total. That's Grunny's Lair, that's every level. There are six jiggies you're allowed to miss, otherwise you have to go back and, and find the rest of them. This is the cutscene that we saw in the beginning of the game that had uh, Grunty and Tootie in the machines. This is the machines that was supposed to switch him up and make Grunty hot. So it's kind of cool we get to see little back scenes. We'll get to see a little behind the scenes out here. Pretty neat. Here are some bonuses you get for uh, having some extra jiggies and or notes before the final boss fight. It's crazy just how close to 100% they make you go to complete the game. Yeah, yeah, out of... I think it's 90. I think it's 90 jiggies total. You gotta get 84 of them. Because it's... I think it's 8 worlds and then Grunny's Lair. So basically what these are doing is they're just refilling us back to 100. They're, they're just maxing us out, essentially. I got 10 gold feathers from hitting the big gold feather. I got up to 100 eggs from hitting the blue egg. If you're at one egg, it'll take you to 100. You know what I mean? Uh, since I have some extra jiggies, there's actually a little four jiggy puzzle piece here for a honeycomb. This one's really clutch because it just doubled our health. That's what you get for getting every jiggy except two. We just got our health doubled, which going into a final boss fight might come in pretty handy. And then how many red feathers do I have? We're at 32. All right, I'm going to take this. Get us up to 50. Phew, what a disgusting smell. Oh, visitors, for Ding Pot. I like visitors. It's a wonder you get any sewer breath. Uh, what does strange birdie thing mean? Er, she said that we're looking for Gruntilda. Do you know where she is? I sure do, Mr. Bear. Grunny's awful, you know. She was sick in me earlier on. You can get rid of her. I'll be free. Don't be sure, you silly pot. Soon I'll have you nice and hot. See these filthy clothes I've got? When I've won, you'll wash the lot. Don't worry, Ding Pot. We'll sort her out if you can find us a way up there. No problem. Just sploosh on in and I'll fire you up to the top. Jump in there? No way, Dung Box. Come on, Kazooie. You get a chance to peck the witch's butt. Let's go. All right, this is it, people. We're going into the final boss fight. Banjo and Kazooie versus Grunny. Did I tell you she puked in me? It was awful. Yes, you did, Dingpot. You told us that, but thanks. Right before I jumped in, I needed a reminder. All 
All right, final boss fight. I can't believe that furry pair got right up here. It's so unfair. But now the stupid bear must fight. This battle test your skill and might. Oh, we died. <laughs> Bad start. Bad start. Oh, hey, the feathers reset. Are you ready this time, birdie thing? Yeah, just get me in here. All right, good opening the boss fight. This time we got it. I can't believe you're back again, stupid bear and dim bird brain or something. Yeah, so the reason I died there is so we get Grunny's other dialogue option. That's the only reason. I think I'm shitting eggs wrong. I'm definitely shit. Alright, I'm gonna stop shitting eggs because this isn't working. That's the speedrun strat, but I'm obviously doing it wrong. Run and hide, you won't get past. But Grunny has a mega spell. That spell that she just fired at me can't miss. Uh, we used the trick that I talked about earlier that makes you invincible. Y'all remember what I'm talking about. The, we use the invincibility, the, the ground pound. Between the time Kazooie's head hits for the ground pound and the time Banjo hits the ground, you're actually invincible for that brief amount of time. Sorry, I'm not explaining the boss fight very well while I'm doing it. Grunty always leads you when she attacks you. Something important to note. Uh, when she fires those regular fireballs, she's always going to shoot in front of you. So if you do something like pretend to one run direction and then stop, or if you just run in a circle, uh, you will be good. If you are running in a straight line and you continue to run in a straight line, like I said, she's going to lead you. She's going to hit you. Oh my god, my aiming is off. So there's a special thing. If we time that just right, we don't take a hit from it, even though it's supposed to be a guaranteed hit. Bottles comes in handy. Because now we got to chase her in the air, and oh my god. So this is the scariest part of the whole fight, is being up here. If you can get past being up here, you're doing really well. Because the scariest part here is trying to dive bomber, which is the only way we can hurt her while she's up here. And missing, and then barely clipping the castle, so Banjo-Kazooie stopped flying on the way down. And then you fall off the edge. That is far and away the scariest part of this whole fight. Um, the second scariest part would be the ending. But you guys will see, that's not going to be as much of an issue for us, because we still have double health, so our health's really good. Oh, we went underneath. That's okay. I'm trying to keep my angles right. If you get above Grunty, that's when it kind of starts to get messed up. If you get above Grunty, because that means that you're angling downward. I think I need one more. I think it's four hits here. Ooh, I thought she'd fire another fireball. Reset the run, Kappa. There's no really way to fast fly unless you want to dive bomb again, so... I am worried about running out of feathers here. This is the only part we need these feathers for, though. Oh, I'm an idiot! I'm so glad I'm not speedrunning. This is always the most intense part of the speedrun. There we go. Okay, so now she's going to put a shield up around herself, and we're not going to be able to hit her anymore, so I'm just going to land. So Grunty doesn't come to grief. Here's a spell I can hide beneath.